Bharti Premalal Desanayaka says that he is not prepared to take up any position other than that of Chief Minister of the North Central Province. Speaking at a media briefing in Anuradhapura today, Bharti Premalal Desanayaka reiterated that if he does not receive the Chief Ministerial position, he will sit as an ordinary United People's Freedom Alliance councillor in the North Central Provincial Council. S.M. Ranjit, who is the brother of former minister S.M. Chandrasena, garnered the highest number of preferential votes at the recently concluded North Central Provincial Council election. Former Chief Minister Berti Premalal Desanayake was placed second in the preferential vote list. S.M. Chandrasena announced his resignation from the post of minister yesterday, stating that he was resigning as a cabinet minister to pave the way for his brother to take up the position of Chief Minister of the North Central Province. <laughs> Tendering one's resignation does not qualify one's brother to become the chief minister. There is a series of qualifications that are required to become a chief minister. That is not a legitimate qualification. It is necessary to have experience in working in the council. One should have at least experience as a minister. These requirements will not be fulfilled by his resignation. I did not receive the position of cabinet minister on a bed of roses. I received it after enduring many difficulties. I did not give it up for nothing. When the steering committee was preparing to give the chief ministerial position to S.M. Ranjit, there was pressure exerted stating that it is unfair to give a cabinet ministerial position and a chief ministerial position to two members of the same family. This is why I resigned as a cabinet minister after taking into consideration our party and our government in order to make it easier for His Excellency the President. If the chief ministerial position is given to Ranjit, then I cannot work as a minister in the council. I can remain as an ordinary councillor. Independently, I can remain as a councillor of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. I have no problem with that. The supremacy of the people should prevail. He is the only candidate that obtained more than 100,000 preferential votes in all three provinces. This person has obtained more votes than the person who was the chief minister for 13 years. Therefore, how can he be unsuitable? We cannot accept this. A person first announces his resignation for the sake of his younger brother and then says that the oath will be taken on a specific date. That is an announcement which we cannot accept. No correction has been issued as yet. All the party members were notified. His Excellency the President informed me to make preparations for the swearing-in at 11.30 on the 24th. This message was given to me by the President of the country who is the leader of the party. That is the assurance. <laughs> Incidentally, Berti Premalal Desanayake arrived at the media briefing today along with a group of representatives from local government institutions in the Anuradhapura district. The group was introduced as the members of the local government councillors collective in the Anuradhapura district. If any injustice takes place, then we will agree with any decision he takes. All of us will hand over our letters of resignation to him. Around 130 councillors, chairman and vice chairman. It is necessary to act intelligently when taking decisions regarding the party. This is politics. This could be the first gunshot that splits the party. The local government representatives then proceeded to hand over their letters of resignation to Berti Premalal Desanayake. When a decision is made by a leader, it should be accepted. If there are those who cannot accept it, they will have to face the disciplinary committee. That is my opinion. The people will decide my political future.